Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lisa, and I'm back with another review. But before Before I get started, I want to tell you guys about some new changes to my channels. So on Wednesdays, I'm going to still be doing uh, reviews, but it's going to be reviews of older movies. And then Thursdays, I'm going to be doing reviews of shows. And then the rest of the week, I guess Monday and Friday, when I put out uh, uh, reviews, it's going to be about um, movies that you should watch and maybe some old movies, some new movies. So just to keep that in mind. So today, guys, I'm going to be talking about the show The One. It's a new show that is on Netflix right now, and I'm loving it. I actually sp just binge watched it the other day, and I think you guys should all take a chance and watch it. So the one, guys, is kind of like a futuristic uh, show. I think, I don't know if I would even say futuristic, because I think the way that things are going these days, I could see this happening in maybe 20, 30 years from now. So anyway, um, the one is based on, um, basically, there's this um, scientist, her name is Rebecca Webb. And she's very ambitious and she decides with her um, co-workers that she wants to come up with a, a DNA mapping system where you can map your perfect match based on your DNA. So she and some other scientists come up with this, this um, DNA match system where you can match your perfect partner based on your DNA. So basically in this show, it's basically about that where you find your perfect partner based on your DNA. The only thing is that this causes a lot of problems because there's a lot of people that are married and they get divorced and they leave their family members because they believe that the one is the one. And so they leave their, you know, maybe a, a marriage that they're happy with, but because they find out that they're matched with somebody else and this causes a lot of problems. Anyway, guys, if you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix right now and it's number two and I definitely recommend you guys watch it. It's so funny because actually I had it a few years ago, maybe like uh, 15 years ago, I was trying my mat, my um, my hands and uh, trying to do like a matchmaking service, and it was actually called the one for you. So maybe I should sue these people for stealing my idea. Just kidding, but um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if there is thinking about it. I don't know if there's just one person for anybody. I think that ultimately you could have more than one partner, more than one match, more than one person that can actually you could connect with and probably be a, like a lifeline partner with. And I think, you know, I mean, I think people realize that, you know, I think, and also just going forward with the argument, I think you could have a person that maybe is good for you for five years and then maybe good for you for 10 years or maybe a couple months. But I don't think it means that, you know, necessarily the person's, you know, a bad person or they're a bad match. Maybe it's just that they were right for you during that time, during that period of your life. So it's interesting, the concept of the one. I don't know if there is just one person for everybody. I think there's multiple people for many people. Anyway guys, you let me know what you think. Um, as usual, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And uh, look for other videos I'm doing on this topic and other shows that I'm been coming up with. And um, I'm also going to put a link here um, about some other um, movies that I, I just uh, finished recording. So anyway, um, that's it guys. Um, if you like what you've seen, if you like what you heard, you know the drill, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I'm actually sorry, the, the link I'm going to put up here is for the Coming to America movie I just finished uh, uh, reviewing. So if you like it, please like, subscribe, and share. Bye for now.